I don't think that it's been off-putting because I think advertisers understand they need to be spending um, and that video is a powerful storytelling medium. So I think that it's an avenue every brand knows they need to be playing in, um, but it can be disheartening to you know figure out how to traverse the space because it is so fragmented um, and so hard to control your frequency there. Potentially a silver bullet for trying to bridge the gap between linear and um, digital video would be using addressable TV. With addressable you're basically able to get a bit more targeted than you are um, with linear television and layer on first and third party data in order to reach specific households rather than targeting based off of um, shows that maybe index highly for a particular demographic. Um, so with that, um, and because it can you know, span the digital space in, as well, um, you're kind of bringing together both mediums and it's more of a blend of both of those two spaces versus being so siloed. A lot of legacy brands I've seen who are dipping their toes into digital video have been more leaning into repurposing their linear television spots and finding that that might not be the best way to go about digital video. So I see a lot of them testing digital first assets that were created for the online space. Um, doing that more often, um, testing shorter formats like six second ads versus you know the standard 15 and 30 second ads. Consumers are definitely responding and we're seeing a strong response in terms of um, you know, just video completion, of course, the shorter the ad, the more likely it is to get finished, but um, we're finding that there's actually a role for um, any length of video, and um, you know, that shorter form asset is doing a good job of driving awareness, but some of our longer form content is helpful in driving more lower funnel metrics such as consideration.